Let me ask you this. Do you make art? Why not? So many people tell me so many reasons that they don't, that they won't, that they can't make art. So let's go over a few of them and see, are they reason enough? Bro, I'm no good at art. What's the point? I get it. Art can feel intimidating, particularly if you've never done it before. We go to museums and we see the work of amazing artists and we think, I could never do anything like that. But we're comparing what we make with the work of a small handful of the greatest geniuses in the history of humankind. A uh, hundred men and women out of the tens of billions who've walked the earth. It's just not a fair comparison or a necessary one. The fact is the goal of art isn't to compete with other artists, dead or alive. It's to find yourself, to find a way to express who you are. Think of art like your signature, like the way that you dress or the way that you walk or the way that you speak. Those are all things that develop over time until they just become natural extensions of who you are. You are unique. You have specific things to express. And every time you make a line or you dip your brush into the paint, you're taking another step forward on a personal journey to express yourself. Nobody else can make art like you. Nobody else can tell a joke like you or swim like you or cook like you or kiss like you or be a friend like you. Being good isn't the point. Being you is. I don't really have time to make art. Unfortunately, when we think about art, we think it's a major undertaking. We're going to have to take classes and we need all kinds of supplies and equipment. We need to go to school. We need to set up studios. But we don't. You can make art in five minutes. In three minutes, you can make a doodle, a sketch. You can stare out the window and have an idea. You could make up a haiku. There are so many ways to express yourself in short amounts of time. And the more you do it, the more it becomes second nature and part of your daily life. It becomes as fast and easy and fun as consuming a TikTok video or an Instagram post or a song on the radio. All the many other things that devour our time in small increments, many of which just don't make us happier. Making art is an investment in your well-being. And that investment might start with a couple of pennies. But over time, those little deposits will fill your emotional piggy bank and they'll make you all the richer. Even a short creative break, like a little nap, can refresh you and give you a new perspective on your day. Art supplies are really expensive. It's true. Some art supplies are very expensive. A single tube of cobalt blue oil paint could cost you a hundred bucks. But the fact is, you don't need to spend a lot of money on art supplies to be creative. You can make beautiful art with a ballpoint pen that you picked up for free. You can draw on the back of a credit card statement. You can collage with old magazines. You can paint on a cardboard box. You can glue together old buttons and beer cans and create sculptures. You could gather up leaves. You could press them in a book. You could make something gorgeous. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You just need to be able to look at the world with a fresh eye and say, you know what, I wanna make something. Let me be creative in how I assemble it from the things that I already have around. I'm too old. I'm set in my ways. I'm, I, I can't learn anything new. It's never too late to go on a new adventure. The Hobbit, opens with Bill O'Baggins sitting by the fire in his cozy hole with his pipe and his cup of tea. Until one day, Gandalf shows up with some dwarves and he says, let's go on a great adventure. And Bilbo is terrified, but then he sets forth and he discovers the world for the first time. And that's what art does. It gives you the chance to see the world through a different lens. It doesn't matter whether you first look through it when you're a little kid or when you're graduating from high school or when you join the AARP. There's no time like the present to begin a new chapter and to discover what your true passions are. Maybe you'll discover a great ability that you never knew that you had, or maybe you'll just muddle along without it. All you need to do is to put aside excuses like, I'm too old, 
and clamber out of your lazy boy. I'm all alone. There's no one to make art with. I, I don't have anybody to teach me. If you want to connect with other people and make art together, well, that's, that's a wonderful thing to do. And there are so many communities off and online filled with like-minded people. You might live in the middle of nowhere, hundreds of miles from the nearest city, but there are people waiting for you right on this computer in front of you. For one, Sketchbook School is a great place to meet other people who are also embarking on this incredibly exciting adventure and want to celebrate your art with you. We're here waiting for you. But you can also make art by yourself and you can use it as an opportunity for introspection and self-discovery. Yeah, I don't have any talent. Look, I don't know quite what talent is, but if it does exist, it's just one piece of the puzzle one small component of what makes you an artist. A lot of very famous and successful artists didn't start out with some innate, obvious talent. They dedicated time to working and to exploring their passion, to discovering and improving their skills, learning how to handle their materials, and struggling to push past each problem that they encountered. It isn't about being born with a head start, with everything handed to you. It's about hard-fought discovery and learning to enjoy the process of creating. You might be frustrated at first, sure that you can't do this, but then one day you'll have a breakthrough that'll make you realize that you are, in fact, an artist. I've seen it happen to thousands of people just like you and me. Art? How do you make money from it? Yep, it's true. You may not make money from art. I don't make money from my art. I never have, but I've never particularly cared about that either. There are plenty of other ways to make money in the world. Why does art have to be one of them? You don't have to be commercially successful to get a huge amount out of the life-enriching process of self-expression, of exploring yourself, of, of growing as a person. Try to get away from that idea that you have to be a professional for art to be worthwhile. Life is full of things worth doing, even if you're not paid to do them. Playing with your dog, or hiking up a beautiful mountain, or eating a sundae, or napping, or floating on a lake and watching fluffy clouds pass overhead. Nobody needs to pay you to do these things. They're just fun, and they're wonderful, and they make life worth living, and art does too. I tried it once, and uh, it's just too hard. I'm, I'm no good at it. Well, like I said, it can be daunting to try something new. There's no question about that. But, but hard doesn't mean impossible. We all face challenges in so many aspects of our lives. And every artist, beginners and professionals alike, we all struggle along the way. And what's wonderful about art is that there's no one way to do it. The road twists and turns, making art a great and freeing opportunity to take risks, to make mistakes, and in the process to discover something brand new, something incredible, a breakthrough that comes out of a place of struggle. By pushing through that challenge, you find yourself in a beautiful place that you had no idea was waiting there for you. Each time you try, you learn, you grow, and you get better at it. The struggle is part of what makes it great like climbing Mount Everest, like running a marathon, like raising a child. They're all worth doing, even though they're hard. Tell you the truth, I don't want people to judge me. It's natural to be afraid of judgment and critique, especially when you're sharing something as personal as art. But remember, it's all subjective. What one person loves, another might not even understand, and that's okay. The most important thing is that your art resonates with you. Because every piece you create is a part of your journey, your growth. Don't let the possibility of some stranger's judgment stop you from having that powerful, important experience. I'm not creative. Are you sure? What if we've been finding creativity too narrowly. 
Creativity isn't just something that we do on a canvas or on a stage or between the covers of a book. It's woven into the very fabric of life. It's in the innovative solutions that you come up with at work, the unique ways that you solve problems, the, the stylish way that you put an outfit together or pull together a meal or tell your kids a story at bedtime. It's remixing the tried and the true into fresh configurations. Think of creativity as a mindset, a lens through which you view the world. It's about being curious, asking questions, and not being afraid to think outside the box. It's that spark that drives innovation and the force that pushes us to see beyond the ordinary. So be open. Creativity thrives in an environment of freedom and acceptance. If you're afraid of judgment or failure, you'll stifle it. But once you let yourself have that freedom to nurture it, to explore it, to make mistakes, to learn from them, you'll find that creativity starts to bubble up in unexpected ways. Remember, every one of us has a unique perspective, a unique voice, and that in and of itself is a testament to our inherent creativity. So the next time you feel you're not creative, challenge that thought. Give yourself the space to explore, to dream, to imagine. You might just surprise yourself with the wellspring of creativity that's been inside of you all along. Well, I'll tell you, friend, I'm not an artiste. Who says? You don't need a license or a degree or a sprinkling of magical fairy dust to call yourself an artist. Art isn't confined to the stuff in galleries or museums. It's in the, the doodles that you make during a phone call. It's the way you arrange flowers in a vase, the way you tell a story, the way you tie your tie, the way you wear your hat. Being an artist isn't about a professional label. It's about expressing yourself in ways that feel authentic to you. And if you create, you're an artist in your own right. And if you've never tried, but you're curious, why not start now? Now, perhaps you have a reason that I haven't covered here. And if so, let me know and let's discuss it in the comments below.